the challenge is to take a participant and put them in a situation that it's not so comfortable and we need to make it look very, very believable. So the scenarios have to be very immersive so they will forget they are in VR. Check him out. Stop, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Take them down. We had attempted to use VR in, in, in training five years ago and the technology was young. Five years later, the equipment itself has gotten to a level that it was excellent. VR is a perfect tool and it's a perfect tool that is ready to go. Coming from the entertainment industry, our standards are pretty high. We have the know-how of how to add that level of realism with all the experience we gain throughout the years. So, when someone's putting the headset on, Please don't move. they think they are really there. The scenario editor tool that we developed really gives a lot of power to the trainers in the sense that it allows them to create a whole bunch of scenarios in the same environment. You can just open up the, the environments that we do, you can modify them however you want, you can drop in shooters or civilians and set up triggers that determine how they're going to react based on what the trainees are doing. I see that there's many applications that have potential within VR, but the key and what we're looking to do is not try to replicate everything you can do in the physical world, but do all the things in the virtual world that you can't do in the physical world. The experience working with VR was excellent. Not only was there expertise there in the technological side, but how to apply it in a very practical training sense. They were very open to customizing and looking at the way in which training is developed before they actually put a product together. And once we were able to come together in a discussion, it was easily accomplished. That was cool. That was cool. cool.